On uh, Sunday morning, about 10 a.m., uh, our Harris County uh, Sheriff's deputies were out here conducting, uh, conducting evacuation efforts, assisting the public. At a distance, they could hear uh, someone screaming. Uh, they uh, descended on the, on the area there, ascended on the area there, and spotted a man clinging uh, to, uh, to a tree. Um, and so they were able to use a rope and uh, really performed a heroic effort in getting him out. At that point, uh, the individual that was rescued said that he was with several family members inside a van, a white van, and that the van had submerged into the water. It wasn't, via, uh, it wasn't via, uh, visible. The van was uh, at least four feet uh, uh, underwater, and so they weren't able to go in there for it uh, based on the conditions. The water was traveling approximately five knots or about seven miles per hour. Uh, today, uh, we were alerted that the water has has uh, gone down some and a white van uh, purportedly the one that the man was driving uh, has been located uh, we could briefly look into the van and see at least uh, two bodies that are in there i've spoken to the family that's standing by uh, to try to update them and, and comfort them as best i can we also have a chaplain arriving on the scene uh, so that's what we have right now and it should be noted that that was not the original position of the van uh, the van was actually further down uh, when it was initially uh, pointed to us by the uh, rescue uh, driver that uh, in since it's travel that's how fast the current went uh, and so uh, you know again it was a miracle the one driver was rescued they needed you know a, a rope and everything unfortunately just couldn't get to the rest